Before opening the service panel on the toaster, make sure to turn the power off, allow the unit to cool, and unplug the power cord from the power source. The control housing probe kit consists of a dual probe assembly, a gasket, and two nuts, part number 7001031. The control housing probe kit is located inside the control compartment on the display side and it's located right behind this insulation. Lift the window and carefully remove the insulation which must be reused. As you can see there are two hex nuts shown here. You need to remove them completely using an 11 30 seconds nut driver. Carefully pull out the control housing bracket. It may get stuck along the way. Carefully set aside the high limit sensing bulb to prevent it from getting damaged. Disconnect thermocouple A and thermocouple B from the green junction block by loosening up the screws. Carefully cut the necessary zip ties to free the thermocouple assembly from the remaining wiring. Remove the old thermocouple assembly and set aside. Take the new probe assembly and the new supplied gasket and slip it over the two aluminum tubes until flush. Next, position the thermocouple as shown with the protruding probe, which is thermocouple A, and carefully insert it into the firewall, being careful not to damage the tip or the paint on the probe. Insert the thermocouple assembly Position the high limit bulb behind the bracket, which secures it. Okay. Reinstall the two nuts. Remove the rear curtain and inspect the control housing probe assembly to ensure that both aluminum tubes are protruding and parallel to the conveyor chain and ensure that the first tube, which is thermocouple A, has the probe protruding from the tube approximately quarter to three eighths of an inch. With the thermocouple assembly secured in place, move the capillary high limit bulb to ensure that the bulb is firmly secured behind the bracket. If it's not, reposition the thermocouple bracket and secure until snug. Reinstall the white insulation. Take the thermocouple B sensor located on my right side here and position the yellow and the red wires correctly into the green terminal block. Terminal Y is for yellow, terminal R is for red. This is polarity sensitive. Next take thermocouple A located on my left side and insert it into the corner terminal. Again, Y is for yellow, R is for red. Make sure not to insert it too deep where the screw could pinch the insulation and not the wire. Install at least two zip ties to secure the upper end of the thermocouples as shown. And a second zip tie through the little white plastic stud as shown.
Make sure there's enough slack so the panel can open and close easily without putting any strain on the thermocouple or the surrounding wires. Cut off the zip tie. And carefully close the panel and secure with the screws. With the service panel closed and secured with the screws, plug the power cord into the power source, turn the power on, and test the toaster for proper operation.